at around 8 in the night, me and my friend Jake were playing in the park. The sun's soon gone and the breeze is cool. There is nobody within sight, only Jake and me. It's silent and I can hear the grasshoppers somewhere around me. Do you think I could flip around the swing? Jake asks, staring at the swing. If you go quickly enough, I say. We were like that, doing strange challenges. We had fun that way. Jake walks up to the swing and sits down. He looks at me filled with purpose. Push me, he says. To the moon, I say, walking up behind him. To the motherfucking moon, he repeats. The mood solemn. For those few seconds, we weren't children but astronauts taking the first steps on the moon. We were men on a mission, and I was sure as hell going to complete that mission. I pushed, and he swung forward, and I pushed again, and he swung forward, and I ran alongside him, pushing as hard as I could. He began shouting. The metal chains to the swing rattled. The next second, he's falling through the air and lands on his back a few meters away. Are you okay? I ask, running up to him. Bro, bro, did you see that? I fucking flew. We laughed. His phone buzzes. It's his mother. She wants him to come home for something. Jack curses. It doesn't sound good. He promises me he'll be back in a few minutes and runs away. For a few minutes, I'm swinging forward and back on the swing, bored. My eyes scour the scene around us, looking for anything interesting to focus on. The swing was in the middle of the apartment complex. Tall red buildings surround me. The only way out is through a few tunnels in the corner of the buildings. Suddenly, I hear my friend Jake shout, Hey Marcus, come over here. It came from one of the tunnels. I run over eager to see him and ask him what happened. The tunnel is completely empty. He's not here. Hello? I call out. Over here, he says. The tunnel leads to another apartment complex, but inside there's also bicycle stands, vending machines, and stairs leading to the basement. My friend's voice comes from the basement. Hurry up, I really want to show you something, he says. A bead of sweat runs down my forehead. I walk wearily towards the stairs. I've never been down there. It's always dark and dusty down there. Really scary. Suddenly, I feel a buzz in my pocket and I'm frozen in confusion. Mom says I can't go out anymore. Fucking bitch. A message reads. The message comes from Jake. But if Jake is at home, then who is down in the basement? I stand still, staring down at the stairs. Why are you taking so long? The voice from the basement says. I stand silent. Come on, Marcus. Stop being a tease. Why are you taking so long, you little shit? Come here. Now. Ha ha ha. You figured it out, didn't you? You little shit. A face burnt crisp creeps out from around the corner. It doesn't have eyelids. Its eyes are moon white and stretch out through their face. They stare at me like a drug addict staring at their chosen drug. But no matter what they do, they can't get it. The hair is like a few black strings hanging off. The lips are blue, like black eyes. They spread wide in a predatory smile. The lips go from ear to ear. The teeth are yellow and spiky. The creature's body is white with clear blue veins running everywhere through its body. I run away screaming. 
I run and run until my chest feels like it's about to explode. Finally, I stop. I finger through my tight pocket and grab my phone. I call mom. I'm sobbing as I tell her to come pick me up. My sweet mother comes in less than 10 minutes after I call. We live roughly 15 minutes away. Her face shows in drowning worry. She runs up to me and hugs me. I look horrified, tears streaming down my face. What happened? She asked, suddenly staring at me. I see rage behind her eyes. Why is she mad at me? A man scared me. How? He tried to lure me into the basement. She hugged me tighter than she's ever done before. After, I jump into the car and close the door. Never have I been more thankful for locks. That would be my last time I was there in many years. On the way home, we picked up my favorite fast food. It all feels a lot better with my mother beside me. I feel a lot safer. We drive all the way home. I hug my dad. He's listening to Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon, singing along. I hug my mom and watch TV for a few hours past my bedtime. Today she allows it. My dad goes to sleep before me. He loves sleeping. He wouldn't wake up even if his bed was on fire. Eventually, my eyelids became heavier than I can handle, and my bed turns into a siren, singing its sweet song. I stumble towards my bed and jump in, covering me with my soon warm blanket. Hopefully, mom won't get mad at me for not brushing my teeth. I wake up a few hours later. My dad's voice is calling me from the toilet. I groan and slowly get up. Marcus, get over here and explain yourself. I stumble towards the door and open it. I manage to say, what is it? The mirror is broken. Was it you? I freeze. What? I shout. Don't play games with me, boy. The mirror is broken and I want an explanation. My dad is blind. I'm standing in the middle of the hallway, shaking in horror. Who's in the bathroom? I stand still, unsure of what to do. What is taking you so long? Marcus, don't make me wait. You figure it out again? The voice says, ha 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 ha. I'm getting rusty, I guess. The bathroom door opens. His head peeks out. I scream and run back into my room. I shiver and shake in my bed. My mom comes running over. She asks me what happened and I tell her the man is back. It ends up with her searching through the entire house with a bat in her hand. She doesn't find anything. She concludes it's a bad nightmare. She sleeps in the same bed as me tonight to comfort me. I have trouble sleeping. The image of the man's creepy face won't leave me. A few nights later, I hear the TV on. My mom calls out to come down and watch it with her. I start walking down the stairs. I'm standing in the middle of the stairs as I hear my mom's voice come from behind me. I heard that too. Shout out to my super fans, Sweet Black Swan and Tacy. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel, and I look forward to creating more content for everyone.